Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Circuit of the Americas for HRL's United States Grand Prix. In qualifying, we did set the fast lap at the time, went for another one, and unfortunately invalidated it there. And by the end of the lap, it would actually be a good enough time for pole, but obviously that cut meant it wasn't going to be pole. And it would be the first time pole for Leonard, the German driver, of course. So congratulations to him, I guess. Well-deserved pole by three tenths. And we could have shaded it by two tenths, but it was invalid, so we lost it. Anyhow, the Sauber lines up in P1. We are P2, and you can instantly see there's some lag, and I was really concerned at this point, because this round I can actually seal the championship with at least P3, or not losing uh, 10 or more points. I think it's 11 more points to pure contrast. And despite getting past there, there was a, a bit of lag, and Leonard spun me, and then I blocked the Renaults. I couldn't really go anywhere else. I'm sorry about that. It was Bozza who got through. And I tried to regain the position on the first lap, although I noted that everyone around me was lagging, particularly Leonard. But Bozza perhaps could have been a risk as well, so I didn't go into his slipstream. I stayed offset. Meanwhile, Harry Ryan is the car behind, and he tries to go around the outside. I looked back and he wasn't close enough, but he went up the inside again. Bit of contact, I leave some space, and unfortunately we get caught and into the wall. Okay, box, box, box. We're adjusting the strategy. Come in this lap. So we're now down to last. We have damage, and now I need to convert to a two-stop. I put on the super softs. Go, go now. Unfortunately, a double whammy from McLaren was that Nemo picked up a puncture early in the race as well, so we overtook him, and then it was Leonard in the pits who came out just behind us on another set of ultras, so clearly he's two-stopping as well. So we're not in too bad of a position when you consider there are two-stoppers potentially, but unfortunately that would not be everyone. Now Nemo here lets us through a lap down and doesn't quite let Leonard through. Retires himself uh, soon afterwards and is stuck on the track for a few laps on the infield of Sector 1. In the pits now is Bozza. He's also going for an early stop, although I think he goes to the end on those tyres. Pure contrast, my championship rival loses the rear and we're past him. He hasn't yet to make his first stop though. Making his first stop is Harry Ryan there. He'd be going to the end, as would the race leader at this point, Sir LJB, who just made his first pit stop and we were still behind him at the time, unfortunately. Just shows how much time we lost in that opening part of the race now. Harry Ryan, of course, on fresh super softs. Mine went on on lap one. So we had a huge pace advantage. I was able to defend for a little bit. I thought there was an outside chance I might be able to catch him at the end of the race. And depending on penalties, this may actually have been a net battle. We went for a little bit of a defensive maneuver here, but he had far too much grip to hold him behind. And he would sweep around the outside here. Great move, staying on track as well and uh, up to B2 for the Ferrari driver. We went into the pits at the midway point, went on to another set of super softs, go, go, go. and set about closing down the seven seconds to Bozza. In the pits in the meantime was pure contrast. He put on ultra softs, but would never catch back up to us. We set the fast lap of the race that would remain standing for the entirety of the Grand Prix, and we caught Bozza in that Renault. It was time for some DRS on this long straight. You can see a little bit of lag still, so I was a bit sceptical about uh, staying too close, but we got past and up into the podium positions, which was what I was after. It's enough to secure the championship, but at this point I was still going after Harry. It was 11 seconds up the road, and I happened to note with two penalties. That came down to eight and a half seconds by the time he retired, which occurred with four and a bit laps to go. Yellow flag. Really unfortunate for him, he was doing pretty well in this race. But a positive, of course, for McLaren, who will extend their championship lead in the Constructors, as well as triumphing in the Drivers' Championship. As we cross the line here for 18 points, we are HRL champion. The inaugural season going to yours truly. Congratulations, of course, to Sir LJB. He wins his first race of the season. It was disappointing not to have sealed the championship with a win, especially given that this is only the second race in the last 18 
uh, failed to pick up the 25 points in. The other, of course, occurring when my girlfriend won in PL this very same track. We ended up 13 seconds off. What could have been if we didn't get involved in that early contact? We'll try and hit back in Mexico. I've been Jacko. See you then.